who of us doesn't use technology nowadays? Even we depend on it in every aspect of our, of our lives by using smart devices in our homes, schools, healthcare, financial services, industry, telecommunication, transportation, and many more. This dependence rises the threats. Once these devices connected to the internet, they form the Internet of Things, IoT. The risk rises further as manufacturers concentrate on functionality with the trading of security by producing devices with limited storage, processing power, and energy. This makes IoT networks vulnerable to security hazards, and traditional security methods, such as cryptography, becomes uh, useless against threats. A recent report it predicts that cyber crimes will cost companies around the world six trillions annually uh, by 2021, which is the double amount in 2015. A network intrusion detection system, which is uh, a software installed at a strategic point of the network to detect malicious traffic, becomes vital to secure the network. Once a malicious traffic is detected, it sends an alert to the network administrator or a prevention system to make an action. But with the rapidly growing number of connected devices to the internet and the high variety of traffic types, it becomes challenging to design a fast and accurate intrusion detection system. With a closer look to intrusion detection systems, I found they are composed of three main steps, feature selection, extraction, and detection. The former two steps uh, performance highly depends on the feature selection outcome. Thus, if we reduce the number of considered features by the system into the half, we will double the overall system speed. But we don't want to compromise the, uh, the system accuracy. So here I stop to observe how the most intelligent creatures on Earth, that is us, humans, make decisions. For instance, if you want to decide regarding a medical procedure, you will consult multiple doctors. Before purchasing an item, you will read multiple reviews. Even this convention is just by multiple experts to avoid an unfortunate selection, decision, or choice. This is known as ensemble learning, where multiple methods are combined to make a decision. This will enable detection system to analyze the problem from different perspectives and come out with accurate and confident decisions. In my research, I'm trying to combine different feature selection methods to reduce the number of features into its bare minimum and get the optimal feature set to speed up the system in addition to developing an ensemble detection algorithm to, uh, to make accurate and confident decisions. This how I plan to secure a safer and smarter future for all of us. Thank you.